how you guys i'm goddess quita or you can call me quita either one would do welcome back to my channel the spiritual justice gem um like share subscribe or comment if you can't comment then i apologize when i um learn how to work this properly then i will open up the comment section until then just bear with me please um <clears throat> i have another word um well, not another word, but like another insight that I've seen that God showed me on um, one of my critiques um, <clears throat> is when I was t like 2019 and all the way up until like 2020, what, no, 2021, I'm sorry, 2019 to 2021, um, I noticed the people that I be around matters. The people that I um, basically associate myself with matters. And especially the, the romantically it mattered and I, I see why a lot of times God will pull pull me to myself and just like <clears throat> how can I put it it's not because that he don't want you around anyone he want his word to be his word to you because a lot of times the people we're around if they have some kind of um issue or something then it, it rubs off on you not even knowingly and it, it can cause you to get God's word misconstrued and um even God God even spoke to me then and told me but I still didn't understand it until I went through it and I was just like now I'm just like oh oh because it's like two things that um I did and I was just like dang like I didn't even write and then he was trying to get me to see that then but I, he knew I couldn't see it until I went through it. And so that's why it's a, God said this is a confirmation message. That's why I'm hearing that it matters. Who we're around matters. Who, what we put in our temple matters. Anything like food, all that. Like in romantic relationships. I'm trying to keep it cute so I can be a little rough sometimes. <laughs> um it matters and I see why it matters I'm looking back in hindsight looking at what I went through 2019 to 2021 it ma it mattered a great deal and I paid a pretty price for it and I learned a lesson because I, I can see now I can see what God was trying to do back then and try to sh show me back then I can see it now so um that's why a lot of people who've gone through the same thing that I've gone through say that and and they mean that and and it's it's a real thing. Like who you around, especially when you are a chosen one, elect one, anointed one, gifted one, and you have and you a mouthpiece, a little a mouthpiece for God. I <laughs> can't get it out. Especially when you're a mouthpiece for God, it matters because the words that you speak, the things that you are putting out, your feet in God's people, and you have to be cautious of that. And now that I'm mindful, more mindful of it, and it wasn't that I wasn't cautious of that. It was one of my fears. And, and I've noticed that I manifest my fear instead of what God wanted me to do back then. And um, right now, I'm so like, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But God told me not to beat myself up, up over it. I had to go through that to learn. So, you guys, I hope this is a confirmation for someone. Or I know it is because God said it is. Um, I hope it, it really touches you and really gets you to awaken so you don't have to go through the same thing I went through. But God bless. And if you do, we got something to, we can relate to, right? God bless. See you guys later.